Hello and welcome. This is Judy Adele and I am here to do a music reaction video. Today we are going to do a meatloaf song in honor of um, meatloaf's passing. And this one I have actually never seen before. Um, it happened to come up on my YouTube feed. I didn't know it existed. Or in my recollection, I didn't know it existed. Meatloaf doing the national anthem. Uh, so I am super curious to see that. I don't. Part of me feels like we should be doing one of his his written popular songs. But at the same time, I thought this was cool. This is totally new. So let's do this. And who knows? Maybe we'll pop off with. Hop pop off a little later with another meatloaf song as well but let's start here so i am uh, i'm going to be interested to see what he does with the national anthem and now to honor america please join grammy award-winning mca recording artist meatloaf as he sings the star spangled banner of all, um, I want to go pa back to a little part and, and talk about it a little bit. But first of all, what a really, a, just a nice, solid version of the uh, Star Spangled Banner. It isn't uh, flourished up. It isn't trying to hit the massive high notes or take it higher. It is just like what feels like a solid good version of it a really nice job a little you know it just it's fun to hear his voice and just like a little things that he does that are very meatloafy that if you would have asked me what are the the characteristics of meatloaf I couldn't have answered you but listening to this it's like ah okay you know that's a little meatloafy so I have an example that I want to show um well let's start there so this just struck me as again just kind of fun because it's very meatloaf can you see he says the word bye. The bye. It's very meatloaf. And I love it. It's great. I really like this. I also, just listening to him in the stadium, I'm thinking about when I think of like Whitney Houston, which I know that was pre-recorded, and, and a few other people that I've seen, and I'd have to go watch some of the other ones. But just what struck me as I'm listening to this is... What's so proud? The echo. <laughs> I don't know if he has. I don't think he has any sort of like monitor or, you know, anything in his ears. I don't know back then if we had what we had. Um, but I know from my own experience of singing in a stadium, the amount of echo, you know, your voice going out of your mouth is just gone, right? Like he's got a microphone that is just his. When I was singing in the in a stadium, I had 
it was a group of us, but your voice goes out of your mouth and it's just gone. And it's just, then you hear it reverberating back. And I personally kind of find that hard to sing. It throws me off. And so I give him credit because this is hard. Like I think, and I know some people that doesn't bother. I don't understand. I I think it's got to be a way that our brains work and, and how, when we sing music, what like what we're paying attention to, what our brain processes. So I'm super curious about that. I would love to spend part of my life learning about how we process music and how we sing and what we are, what kind of feedback we're working on. Because I know, like I say, I don't do well in that. I know other people who that just doesn't bother. They're so into what's going on in their head and what they're hearing um, inside that what's coming at them is not a thing. Good skill to have. But I, I just give them credit because I think this is a kind of, Actually, I think singing the national anthem in a, in a stadium like this can be a hard thing to do. Um, probably, especially back then. I just don't know when technology kind of came in and all of this. But anyway, the feedback part is, is, is really hard or can be anyway. So I, yeah, I really like the version. I just wasn't sure. I was super curious to know if he was going to kind of play with it a little. And I think his strength here is that he didn't. Not that he couldn't and couldn't have done it well, but I do think just just a nice a good version it's really it's really cool so it's just fun to hear him do this he's got a really you know he's got such a powerful voice and uh and i think uses it really well on this song so i liked it i enjoyed it yeah another another one lost this year um <laughs> between you know betty white and bob saget and Thich Nhat Han and and ronnie specter um, also recent, so I don't know if I'm missing anybody. I'm missing many, many people, of course. <laughs> but anyway, just the people that are sticking out in my mind that I have heard on on the news and and that kind of thing that have that have left. So fun to see. I'm glad I saw this. It was cool that it popped up, and uh, so I guess this is a request from me. <laughs> Mostly, it was like I want to watch that, and what a great way to do it. Um, but here. So thank you all for hanging out with me and uh, and watching and listening to my stream of consciousness rant, I guess, <laughs> or thoughts. I really do appreciate it. Please um, would love to have you like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the other videos that we have, all different types of genres of music, all different time periods. Uh, if you love music like I do, go check it out, find some new stuff, check out some maybe some old stuff you haven't heard from a long time. Um, really appreciate it. All right. Take good care of yourself. See you soon and enjoy the music. Bye-bye.